Wake up, bitch, and welcome back to Mafia 3. We are continuing on the story of Lincoln Clay and the Mafia. Obviously, I fucking love this game already. I knew going into it before the game even came out that I was absolutely going to love it. I played Mafia 2, but this is such a step up. Just the story, the way everything is shot. I know I said it last episode, but... Like I said, I think this is going to be a game we look back on in the future and be like, damn, I really wish I had like never played that. That way I could just play through it again and relive the experience, but I'm going to cherish it while it's here. I love Mafia 3. I'm telling you right now, this might be one of the games of the year besides Call of Duty 4 Remastered, obviously. But anyway, let's continue on. Last episode, we got turned on. Giorgio, Sal, fucking killed all our family and friends, and now we're on the hunt, man. Said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? I ought to see it otherwise. What do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Valcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. Woo! <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. Why the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. It always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. He really did shoot me in the One face. I can't believe Giorgio did that, that, man. Much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, gonna always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you every time. Like, I knew Sal was gonna be dirty. I had a bad feeling about him, you know, even when we met him. But Giorgio really just seemed like a nice guy. I thought there was no way he would turn on us. But I guess you never really know, man. You never really know. You sure you don't need a ride? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. Enter Sammy's. All right, something I've got to do. Let's hop through the window right here. Oh, man, this sucks. Retrieve your gear. That's what we need to do. Oh, shit. I'm having nightmares. This is not good. I don't like it in here. Holy Welcome shit. Welcome home, son. I hate this place, man. Oh my god, I forgot no, Ellis was getting stabbed. Get hey, bullshit there are. This goes a beast. Giorgio, man, I can't believe you turned on me. I want you to run the holler. Oh my god. I really shouldn't have said no, what man. What the fuck? How am I supposed to get? Oh, okay, here we go. We got stairs in the back. What kind of gear are we retrieving? Better be some sort of automatic rifle. The fuck? Why is there no sound? Oh, I forgot. There was music coming out from the, uh... The cinematics, fuck, dude. Continue on. Oh, dude. We're gonna get no volume out of this cutscene? I'll fix it after this, but there's not gonna be any sound right now. There was music coming out of the cinematics, and I didn't want to get a copyright strike, so I turned it off. And now there's no... Now there's no sound during the cutscenes, I guess. You can imagine, there's subtitles, though. I know you think you're alone in this world, but you're not. You never will be. Okay. I hate that guy. I literally can't wait. Oh, we're going to kill him. At least we know that we actually do kill him because it told us in the last cutscene that we do. Use your combat knife to perform lethal takedowns on enemies. You can also select non-lethal takedowns in the options menu under game. All right. First of all, let's go to options real quick right here. And go to audio, and then, like I said, cinematics volume. We'll turn that up to 10. And now we're good to go. Retrieve your gear out of the safe. What the fuck? 
When you're out in the field, any money you collect will be stored in your wallet. If you're killed in action, you'll lose a sizable portion of the money, so it's best to stash it. Use the safe in Sammy's basement to safely store the cash you've saved in your wallet. Okay. Sounds like a plan, dude. Let's open this up. I got the combination. I got a new knife. What the fuck? Did I just open what was in that, or...? What am I supposed to do? Story mission unlocked. That's the plan, Padre. Can I get some shit out of there, or it's... Have I already grabbed everything? Holy shit, I really do have a knife, huh? How do I switch to my knife? Holy shit, what was that? Look at that! I go into, like, slow motion and shit? Alright, cool. Let's get out of here, I guess. I really thought... Okay, screw it. I guess we got what we needed out of there. Here we go. Discuss potential assets with Donovan. That's our next play. Safe houses are spots around New Bordeaux where you'll meet up with assets and allies. You can't enter safe houses if you're in combat. Okay. So it's pretty similar to like Grand Theft Auto, I think. Let's go ahead and hop in this bitch. Scoot on over. Look at my new whip, though. I'm pulling up in my new, new car. I got like three of them bitches. And they all sound bad. Listen to this thing. Woo. That's muscle right there, bro. That is muscle. Hold up. I gotta... I know, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I fucked up. Just let me pull in here. There we go. Just like that. If I could just get a parking spot right over here next to this car without hitting it. Look at that parking job. Oh my god. That was actually pretty decent, right? Look at that. I'm out of here. Don't even hit the car. Ha! Oh my god. I am a god. Let's go up here and talk to Donovan real quick. See what he's got to say. Donovan! <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. I got a big-ass scar on the side of my head, man. I really got shot in the face and survived. That's some real-ass shit when you think about it. All right, here we go. Story mission unlocked. Old time sakes. Wait for the Haitians. That's our new mission objective. I don't know who's got their TV up this goddamn loud, but they need to turn it down, bro. What is wrong with y'all? This TV is too loud, man. All right, let's hop back in our car. We're 440 meters away. I guess we could get in any car we wanted. I didn't want to... That was stupid. That was really stupid. I just hot-wired his car, but I guess we'll just take it. I meant to hop in the other one. I didn't even want to take that one, but screw it, I guess. This one sounds cool, too. This one will do just fine. All right. We're going to wait for the Haitians. We need to make a hard left right here. New Bordeaux. Beautiful city down here in Louisiana. Real nice people down here in the south. I like it, man. I really do. All right. I just fucked up. I fucked up. I don't know why I parked right here, but I did. I feel like they'll definitely not notice that I just ran my car up on the side of the fucking... 
side of the Tomorrow, sidewalk. We've allowed misconceptions to guide our views Heard towards our Haitian brothers James and sisters. Ray back this week. Whether it be overcoming Still language barriers me, they expect or religion. us to believe it was one Stop man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Could y'all have one conversation at a time? Damn. Shot Dr. King. And how did my car get no down there? This doesn't make sense. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Is that them? That's them right there. In this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Huh? There's a cop right there. Get inside, it says. I just got to cross the road, officer. Sugar, you sure Sorry about that. Sweet today. <laughs> Informants work the criminal rackets around New Bordeaux, find and interrogate them to learn about objectives associated with rackets. To attack, interrogate the Haitian informant, isolate him through combat or stalking, then approach him to start the interrogation <laughs> sequence. Okay. And we about to take them apart piece by fucking piece. Damn straight. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. All right, here comes this guy. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers <laughs> love enslaving African women. This kid dead street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right? Huh? You're not allowed. <laughs> What yes. the fuck? Oh, talk to him. Want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Oh, damn. The other guy saw me, right? I'll take the lead here. They definitely saw me. Oh, shit. He's right there. Yo. That's crazy. Let me pull my gun out. Oh, shit. Who just shot me? Who shot me? Uh, see, that's where you fucked up. You really just had to light everything on fire in here, dude? Come on, man. All right, let me take that cash, first of all. I wonder if all I have to do is walk over the cash to steal it. There was some over here. Let me make sure. No, you actually have to... Okay, you have to go up to and press square to take the cash. Anything upstairs, or should I just go? Should we just get out of here? I think I'm just going to go. Look at this guy. Why am I picking him up? I don't even know. Didn't I shoot this guy? Is he dead? I can't even tell. He looks pretty dead, right? Alright, we're gone. Let's get the fuck out of here. 467 meters away. Is my car still over here? It is. Yo, don't run me over. Don't run me over. Please stop. My god, he almost did it too. Go to the Pierced Heart Voodoo Shop. I just jumped on top of my car. Bro, I'm so used to triangle or Y always being like the interaction from uh, from Grand Theft Auto. The free roam portion of this game really reminds me of, of GTA, but this is not. It is a brand new game set in 1968. New Bordeaux with the Mafia. My man Lincoln Clay. I love this damn game, I'm telling you. 130 meters. All right, we are already here, right across the bridge. That's where it was. Find a way inside. Okay. Let's see what we can find. There's probably not going to be anything in the front. We could just break in like this. I bet nobody will see this shit. How do I do this exactly? I forgot. Like that? Oh, like this. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Voila! You didn't see shit, lady. <laughs> I'm not sneaking up on anybody. Won't you mind your damn business? Before I go upside your head with a pipe wrench. Alright, I'm going upstairs. I'm searching the voodoo shop. Wait. Alright, I can wait. I hear somebody pulling up outside. Oh, shit. Boo. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> oh, shit. What can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. 
I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. I don't have any idea what you're talking Sammy about, Cassandra. Sammy fighting because the people in the holla deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holla, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. Long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with Can I just FaceTime him or church. something? Oh, it's 1968, I forget. All right, here we go. Let's go talk to Cassandra's. I didn't spot shit, man. What is this? Am I? Associate gain, arms dealer, buy weapons and equipment on the go. Well, that sounds great. By recruiting Cassandra, you've gained access to her associate, the arms dealer, as you increase earn. For your underbosses, they will give you access to their associates and upgrades to their services. Basic arms dealer has mobile weapons and equipment store. You can view future upgrades in the assets menu. What you got? Jackie, what the hell? Why are you driving around? Oh shit, here we go. Firearms, what do you got? Shotguns, what do you got as far as automatic weapons are concerned? The damage on all of these kind of sucks. I can't believe that. Wait, how much money do I have? Does it tell me? I have $581. Okay, um, <laughs> you got any pistols? Or something, handguns? How much does this cost? 45 to refill ammo. Do I have a Masterson? Okay. So I'll just refill ammo for now. We'll get our money up first and then we'll buy some some stuff. Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start? Who is that talking? I don't even know. Alright, talk to the voice. That's our next our next quest. Let's see what we can do here. It's only like a hundred meters away. I love how everything is just right next to each other in New Bordeaux. I don't have to go driving around for fucking fifteen minutes trying to find stuff. That's great. That is a great time. We are already here at The Voice. What, do I just knock on his garage or something? Walk up to it? Open this bitch. You got a back door or something? Oh, there we go. You ain't even locked the door. You. you were sight for so eyes. That's a compliment. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses. 
And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. Damn straight. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. The Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Let's go save these girls, man. Free the strung out girls. Okay, here we go. Now, this mission's gonna be a little bit further away. Busting up rackets. Every racket's vulnerable. Hurt their ability to make money to force the racket boss to come deal with the damage you've done. Draw out Merle by damaging his prostitution racket in the hollow. The first step in doing that is to free the girls held hostage at Doucette's. Should we take the boat or take... Okay, I don't think the boat's gonna get us there. We're gonna take the car. I might take his car, to be honest. His car looks kind of dope, but... I'll use mine, for now. Till we get our money up a little bit. I mean, once we're actually, like... I don't suppose we're actually gonna be in the mob. It looks like we're trying to take down the mob. If we were in the mob, I was thinking we'd really get caked out at some point. Did I just kill that lady? I did. Fuck her, though, you know? Witness is calling the police! Witnesses are civilians who will rush to the phone or the nearest cop if they see you committing a crime. Immobilize the witness using a non-lethal takedown out of view of other witnesses or the police. I'm really gonna take down this old ass lady? I can't do that, man. Who was the witness? Who, him? Bro, stop. It's your dumb ass. Is that non-lethal? I really don't know. It looks like he's pretty fucked up. I took him down, though. I, I don't know. I don't think that's non-lethal. <laughs> I choked his ass out. That'll teach him. I thought it was going to be the old lady, and I just I wouldn't feel right choking her out. So I wasn't going to do anything. But that guy, fuck him. I'll choke him every time. Here we go. Once again, it's right next to us. Here it is right here. And there's an arms dealer right outside. That's perfect. Let me park on this side of the street. All right, here we go. This is... Really like our first mission, almost, right? If you don't count the, uh... The Federal Reserve robbery. Yo, we gotta get the fuck out of here, let's go. Psst, hey! What? Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs, be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. Fuck them. I will, thanks. Who the hell are you? Get away from me. He said they're upstairs. Is there like a... Oh, shit. How do I get upstairs, though? This is the problem. There's a lot of cash in here, too. At the end of the bar, there's some cash. I can go steal that. Let me give you some of this money. <laughs> All right, we're in a hostile zone, it looks like. There's a back door. So I'm driving along, listening to old Johnny. I can't go in there. Oh my god. Are they gonna... Are they gonna notice me? You think? I really don't know. They're there though. I don't know if they see us. I'm really not afraid to just turn this bitch up. I will do that. Yo, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here, girl. What's wrong with you? Let's go. We gotta go. Oh, I just pulled my fucking gun out. Can I put that away? I do not want to be walking around with a... There we go. Now I still got a pistol out. This is no good. I gotta get upstairs, man. Don't let him shoot at us. Oh, shit. What? I'm already getting shot. Alright, fuck it. That's it. I'm taking the money, too. I'm out of here. Let's go. Let's go. I really wanted to do this stealth-like, but... They didn't want to do it. I got that. I got that cash. Hold on, I'm taking all this money. I just... Firing from the hip! I'm firing from the hip. Use intel view. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, that actually worked, let's go. I only got 10 more bullets. I gotta get upstairs, let's go. Let me up here. It's 
here, dumbass. Give me that money, boy. Come about that. Where are these girls at? They're in these rooms? Oh my god. I really gotta break in this too? That shit is hard, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Stop, stop. Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the Pierce Tar. She'll help you. Yo, you gotta go, though. I won't let this place break me down one day at a time, but no doubt I will see my family again. Okay. You're right, today. Go on, get out of here now. Oh, they're about to get a shot, though. Sometime. Where is this guy shooting from is what I can't figure out. Is he downstairs? I don't know. I'm going to keep breaking in these rooms. Oh, this is going to be hard as shit. Oh, you can make it bigger? By doing that? Do okay. Here? Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Stop. I actually just killed the shit out of that guy. I still don't really understand how this works, I'll be honest. <laughs> I got it, though. Spread the word. I'm busting you out of here. Let's go. go to the Pierce Tall. Thank, thank you. No problem. You gotta go though. You gotta go quick. Come on. Go, please. Can you run so I can see what's in the box? I can't even grab anything out of there. No way. All right, last one. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna bust her out. This is gonna work. Oh, that's an easy one. That's a simple one. Let's go. You're free. Oh shit. Bitch. Tell Charlie it's been a good week. Ronnie sold around five grand worth of shit and Gene brought in around seven grand. That ought to get Richie off our asses. Seven, twelve grand in you a week? Him. God damn. Yeah, I killed him. Kill all of them. I'm going to. Every last one. Get out of here. Now. I am going to take that money though. Oh, I didn't want to take that. All right, here we go. We get some more ammo right there. We could go in the bathroom. Y'all got any? Oh, medicine cabinet. You know I'm taking that. All right, here we go. There's another girl across the way. I don't really know how to get over there, though. How do we lose him? Oh, I can go this way. Here we go. You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, wait, no. That's 360 meters away. I can just leave this place. That is not true. I am not gonna believe that. You are not finding shit. I don't know if these... What are these green things, man? I've got to know. Is that stashes of money or what is this? Only way we make it out is if we girls stick together, hang in there. We'll be home real soon. You right? Oh, I think it is cash. I just took it. Whatever it is, it's inside this damn stall. I don't know, man. I'm about to just give up looking for it. Can I jump over this? We will find you, cocksucker. Holy shit, I really can't. What are they talking about, man? Run that motherfucker out of here. What? Oh shit, here we go. What is this? Is this body armor? Oh, let me grab that. Y'all fucked up. I just found a blue lammy. Let's get it. Is this how I get out of here? This is just taking me back upstairs? Okay. Oh, look at this guy. You're dead. And I took your money and your pistol. Let's go. Let's go. There's more cash right here. I see another guy too. That's not a guy. Talk to Donovan. Damage remaining 6,600. All right, we're just going to go. We're just going to go. I don't know who is shooting at me, but he's doing a very bad job. I just stole all the bar money. I'm gone, bro. <laughs> Y'all can't shoot shit. Oh, it was right here. And he had a Molotov. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just like the good old days. What? Oh shit! Where did this guy even come from? He's dry. Shoot the motherfucker. This guy is strong as shit. How many times I just had to shoot him? All right, here we go. Let's go back to Donovan and see what he has to say. We released the strung out females. It said. I just really want Ellis back, man. I'm not gonna lie, I miss Ellis. I miss all that. You know, camaraderie right there. Is that what you say that shit? Whatever happened to, uh, what's his name, too? The guy who had the fuck up leg? Did he die? I think he did, right? I think they all died. Except for me in the, uh, in the bar. Oh, shit. My bad. All right, here we go. I'll just go ahead and park it right there. Temporary parking. You can park like that for, like, 30 minutes at a time. Just try it. All right, Donovan. What's up? 
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. What's he giving me? I don't get it. I don't know what the hell he just gave me. Was it... Oh, a portable radio! Thank you, Donovan! That is nice as hell. I was about to say a cell phone, but I keep forgetting it's 1968. I don't think that shit was quite available back then. They did have television sets, so... Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Mafia 3. As you can see, we are holed up here with Donovan. We got all this uh, FBI task force type investigative shit hung up in this apartment. Trying to take down Marcano, Sal Marcano, who killed all our friends and our family. We will be back next episode, either later today or tomorrow. I don't know when this video went up exactly, but... We'll be back continuing on the Mafia 3 campaign. If you guys did enjoy the video here today, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have an